One of the most intriguing developments OpenAI has been discussing recently is their consideration of creating a humanoid robot. This is the information according to the information, and apparently the company has recently considered developing their own humanoid robot, according to two people with direct knowledge of the discussions. Over the past year, there's been talk about OpenAI dropping clear hints regarding its renewed focus on robotics and physical intelligence investments. By examining the companies OpenAI has invested in, we can gain insights into this development. Let's take a closer look at physical intelligence, an incredible company that I discussed earlier this year. Surprisingly, it hasn't received the attention it deserves. For instance, Jeff Bezos, along with OpenAI, has invested in this robotic startup at a staggering valuation of $2.4 billion. You may be wondering why this company has flown under the radar. Well, that's because physical intelligence isn't your typical human-centric robotics firm. Instead, it specializes in autonomous robots capable of handling a wide range of tasks with remarkable efficiency. When we look at the capabilities of physical intelligence robots, it's clear they've come a long way. These robots can now perform a wide range of tasks autonomously, tasks that, not long ago, seemed almost impossible. This progress is truly remarkable. I remember covering a robotics company called Mobile Aloha, which stood out for its groundbreaking work in this field. The audience was equally amazed, and that video garnered a massive number of views. What makes this even more fascinating is the level of autonomy these robots have achieved. They're fully autonomous, not controlled remotely or teleoperated. One of the notable companies leading this innovation has even received backing from OpenAI, which highlights the potential they see in this technology. These robots aren't limited to just one type of task. They're capable of handling a variety of duties, from packing items to doing laundry and more. What's even more impressive is that the policies these robots operate on can be applied to other robot platforms as well, opening up endless possibilities and significant implications for the future. Take this demonstration, for instance. Here, we see a robot efficiently clearing a table. It navigates the clutter, picks up trash, and places it neatly into the bin. Now, imagine a scenario 10 years from now where a robot server comes to your table, cleans up everything effortlessly, and leaves it spotless. With backing from major players like OpenAI and Amazon, it wouldn't be surprising to see a company like this leading the way in such advancements. Another company you might be more familiar with is Figure. This company has an impressive valuation of $2.6 billion. Notably, many organizations, including OpenAI, have contributed to its funding. What's truly fascinating about this is that this company is powered by OpenAI. And in their recent demo, we got our first look at what humanoid robots might look like if OpenAI created them. This demonstration quickly captured massive attention online, sparking widespread interest. For the first time, humanoid robots entered mainstream discussions with many people outside the AI and robotics community talking about this groundbreaking development. Figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? Great. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome if there's anything else you need help. I believe this update will be one of the most fascinating advancements we've seen so far. In this demo, we got a glimpse of how large language models, LLMs, can significantly enhance the way robots interact with the real world. It's always intriguing to watch robots perform various tasks in physical environments. However, being able to communicate directly with a robot, receive meaningful feedback, and understand the reasoning behind its decisions takes human-robot interaction to an entirely new level. 
This development elevates the way we interact with robots, making it much more intuitive and engaging. It will be exciting to see if OpenAI continues to collaborate with companies on projects like these. As we've seen in past demonstrations, the potential is enormous. Additionally, OpenAI isn't just supporting one company in this space, which opens up even more possibilities for innovation in robotics and AI. We also recently saw 1X Robotics secure backing from OpenAI in a $100 million funding round, fueling the race to develop humanoid robots. One of the standout reasons this robot became a favorite for me in 2024 was the sheer brilliance of its robotics demo. It wasn't just about how incredibly smooth and human-like its movements were. What truly amazed me was how silent it operated. Unlike many robots where you can hear the gears turning and mechanisms working, this one was almost completely noiseless. It had this sleek, refined quality that felt very Apple-esque in its motion and design. What makes this robot particularly fascinating is its departure from the typical robotic look. Instead of appearing mechanical, it boasts a sleek, friendly, and approachable design. This thoughtful aesthetic, enhanced by its cloth-covered exterior, reflects the effort that went into making it more relatable and less intimidating. Interestingly, this robot has been developed in close collaboration with OpenAI, and I'm curious if they'll integrate their advanced large language models into it. Interestingly, we know that OpenAI recently re-established its robotics team. Just two months ago, they brought back the robotics division that had been disbanded years ago. This is a pretty fascinating development. Now, you might be asking, why did OpenAI disband their robotics team in the first place? Well, Ilya Souk addresses this in an interview with Kish Patel, where he provides some valuable insights on the matter. Why OpenAI decided to move away from robotics is explained here. And the primary reason, according to him, was the issue of data. Back then, it really wasn't possible to continue working in robotics because there was so little data. Like, back then, if you wanted to do on robot, if you wanted to work on robotics, you needed to become a robotics company. You needed to really have a giant group of people working on building robots and maintaining them and having and even then, like if you only if you're gonna have a hundred robots, it's a giant operation already, but you're not gonna get that much data. So in a world where most of the progress comes from the combination of compute and data, right? That's where we've been, where it was the combination of compute and data that drove the progress. There was no path to data from robotics. So back in the day, when you made a decision to stop working in robotics, there was no path forward. Is there one now? So I'd say that now it is possible to create a path forward, but one needs to really commit to the, to the, to the task of robotics. You really need to say, I'm going to build like many thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of robots and somehow collect data from them and find a gradual path where the robots are doing something slightly more useful and then the data that they get from these robots and then the data that, that is obtained and used to train the models and they do something that's slightly more useful. So you could imagine this kind of gradual path of improvement where you build more robots, they do more things, you collect more data and so on. But you really need to be committed to this path. If you say, I want to make robotics happen, that's what you need to do. I believe that there are companies who are thinking about such, doing exactly that. But I think that you need to really love robots and need to be really willing to solve all the physical and logistical problems of dealing with them. It's not the same as software at all. In addition to that, there was also a notable interview with one of the founding members of OpenAI, conducted in 2021 on the Weights and Biases podcast. He shared some compelling insights about the numerous challenges in the field of robotics. What made this interview particularly fascinating was the depth of issues he highlighted. He touched on topics like data management and other key challenges, which are critical to understanding the current state of robotics. I highly recommend you take a moment to explore these points further. They're definitely worth your attention. Do you, do you think that there's more progress in the short term or will it be sort of the last thing that we solve on the path to AGI? So there are two possibilities for me like a few possibilities. So one is if someone would be able to actually in natural way to collect a lot of data, I think that might be the, the capabilities. Now imagine a scenario where the data challenges are resolved. 
With advancements in simulation technology, we could create simulated robots and seamlessly deploy them in real-world applications. Tools like Genesis simulators enable us to place robots in virtual environments, mapping these simulations directly to real-world scenarios. This approach has the potential to revolutionize robotics, significantly accelerating the development process. For instance, it's been highlighted that this technology operates much faster than NVIDIA's Isaac Jim and is up to 20 times faster than GPU accelerators. With these breakthroughs in data handling and speed, it might be the right time to revisit robotics and explore new opportunities for innovation alongside other leading companies. Are OpenAI and Tesla competing in the robotics space? It's an interesting question. OpenAI is undoubtedly on a trajectory to becoming a trillion-dollar company if it maintains its current pace of innovation. When we examine the potential of the humanoid robot market, it's clear that Tesla's developments could significantly boost the company's valuation. For instance, Tesla's RoboTaxis could position it as a $5 trillion company, while the Optimus robot might elevate Tesla to a staggering $25 trillion valuation. Consider the economic impact of robots. They represent the possibility of duplicating human capabilities on an infinite scale. This opens up enormous potential for economic value. Perhaps, just perhaps, OpenAI is looking to secure its share of this lucrative market. Recently, Google DeepMind partnered with Aptronix's robotics team, a collaboration that combines state-of-the-art AI with advanced robotics hardware to develop AI-powered humanoid robots. This partnership marks the beginning of a new era for helpful robots operating in dynamic environments. As we look at the competitive landscape, it's clear that top research labs are racing to create groundbreaking products in this field. OpenAI, however, may have a different approach. While some speculate that OpenAI might build its own humanoid robots, I personally believe they're focusing on numerous other projects, which could slow down their involvement in robotics. That said, OpenAI is an exceptionally talented company, and they have a knack for surprising us. It will be fascinating to see how they position themselves in this rapidly evolving space. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and we'll see you in the next part. Take care and see you soon.